Verona is the quintessential Italian city with red roofs, old castles and tall towers. Everywhere there is the remains of a long lost Roman civilization. And at its heart, a huge Roman arena. Not a ruin, but the home of a world famous annual opera festival. 17,000 people will fill this arena each night to watch one of the five operas on offer this year. Il Festival dell'Arena di Verona nasce nel 1913 da una straordinaria idea di un tenore veronese, Giovanni Zenatello, che in occasione del primo centenario dalla nascita di Giuseppe Verdi decise di realizzare all'interno di questo meraviglioso anfiteatro romano delle recite dell'opera Ida. Most of the productions are traditional, but in 2004 they asked British director Graham Vick to stage a modern version of La Traviata and this year he's back with a revival. He's made the world of Violetta one of nightclubs and gambling dens. Everything is on a grand scale. A mythic, epic aspect of the piece was to understand why it was worth performing Traviata in the arena rather than in a bourgeois space and to recreate the impact that Verdi had hoped the piece would have. To fill the vast space, designer Paul Brown built a huge and very active set, and Graham Vick used all the available locals to work as extras, singers and actors. The choir of over 160 sit either side of the stage, and the supporting cast of actors fill the space at every opportunity. One of the traditions of the arena is to have hundreds of people. I developed that into something rather more complex during the course of, of Traviata and cast them and developed a society based on these people in which they participate to quite an involved level. And that was because part of the process of the rehearsal period involved teaching, involved workshopping and teaching about acting and performing in itself, acting and performing in a big space, um, and developing workshop work to do with the content of the opera and putting it on the stage. And it was this use of the supporting cast that gave Graham the idea of taking this production to his own Birmingham Opera Company that's renowned for its involvement of the local community. The Italian choir will be replaced by singers drawn from groups from all over the Midlands. The actors will be from the Birmingham Opera Company's own community group and the venue will be the national indoor arena. Certainly so many of the people who've worked with me over the past seven years um, will be ideally suited and cast in this piece and will understand completely what it's about. And so I'm quite excited about giving them the chance to platform in the national indoor arena in an Arena di Verona production with extravagant costumes and scenery and the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra. Members of Birmingham Opera Company's production team spent a week in Verona monitoring everything so that the move will go as smoothly as possible. This is the first time a Verona production will be staged out of Italy, but thanks to the festival's extraordinary generosity, Graham is being allowed to borrow the huge complicated set and the lavish costumes free of charge.